Vasiliyich Lomov. My darling boy! My darling boy, how are you? <laughs> a surprise? You're telling me it's a surprise. Anytime my darling boy comes to visit, it's a wonderful surprise. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? to see each other again? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's my honor, Stepan <laughs> Stepanovich. Uh, do you still happen to have... I happen to have... Uh, uh, your, your family. They, they oh, my, to... my family, yes. Oh, uh, your timing couldn't be any more perfect. Let's go inside, my ducky, and talk about this, and so on, and so forth, and all the way down the line. Come in! Sit down and everything else. Your family used to farm those Tchaikovsky fields up north. And they used to... Here, my boy, let me get you a drink. Like I was saying, your family used to take quite the yield of rye out of those northern fields. and. This brings something to mind. Uh, what does it bring to mind? Your family, always the most wonderful of neighbors. <laughs> I nearly married your mother. What are you wearing? <laughs> That's a whale of an outfit to come visiting your old friend in, my dearie. As I was saying about your family, when they would harvest that rye, the residuals, <laughs> the residuals, your father, always such a wonderful man, would see his way clear to give me the residuals to distill for my liquor. For medicinal purposes, of course. Well, uh, I I'm done harvesting that field now. Uh, you say my father let you... Uh... Oh, this is not going the way I wanted it to at all. So the residuals. Yes, yes. I'll see to it that the former knows that it's to go to you. Uh, just let you, Father. Uh, let me get you a drink. No. Uh, thank you. Uh, please, uh, Stepan Stepanovich. What I have come for is this. Stepan Stepanovich, if you would be so kind as to Listen to my petition. Since the death of my father, I have begun to put his estate in order, and in doing so have taken stock in... My sweetness, you're shaking. I'm fine. Uh, just a little palpitation. <laughs> Let me get through this. Stepan Stepanovich, if you would be so kind, in putting my father's affairs in order, I have taken a stake, no, stock, in myself. Which is correct, a stake or stock? You've come to borrow money. Money? <laughs> you've gone through your family's affairs, you found your father was broke, and now you've come to me for money. Not at all. <laughs> In fact, my father has left me far better off than I had anticipated. Of course he did, my <laughs> precious boy. And now, but you, what? What? Uh, please let me continue. Uh, this is how it is. Honored uh, Stepan Stepanovich, I have come to trouble you with a request. Our families have always shared the richest friendship and, and warmth, and, um... Can I get a drink of water? What is it, my beauty? Uh, your Honor, Stepanovich. I beg your pardon, uh, Stepan Honorovich. I am dreadfully agitated, as you see. It's these confounded palpitations. In short, only you can give me relief, can 
fulfill my desires and... Oh, don't spin on it. Spit it out. Immediately. In just a minute. No, now. Is that I have made up my mind to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natalia Stepanovna, in marriage. I can't believe my ears. Would you say it again, my petunia? May I have the honor to ask... Oh, my pumpkin! Oh, oh, I am delighted! <laughs> delighted <laughs> indeed! Uh, <laughs> I have been hoping for this for all through the ages. Although it never occurred to me that anyone in their right mind would actually... My angel. My son! Oh, the son I never... But what am I doing standing here like a stone and everything else? Ah! Oh, I will go and send in Natalia and everything and so forth and all down the line. I'm cold, trembling all over, as though I were waiting for an examination. Make up your mind. If you think about the too long, hesitate, roll it around in your head again and again, you'll talk yourself out of it, and then you'll never get married. Ugh, I'm cold. Come now. Natalia is an excellent manager of affairs. Look how she runs this farm. She's more educated than most women. She went to school. She's not difficult to look at, either. <laughs> what more do I want? What is that? Do you hear that? I have to get married eventually. I'm nearly 35. I, I can't do it all by myself. And all these medical problems, ugh. I feel a tension right here. It must be a growth or a blockage. I, I probably don't have much time left. Palpitations, the doctor calls them. Palpitations? Is it my heart that causes that, or is there something wrong with my brain? I should go home and go to bed! What's that pressure? It's my stomach. It's a tumor in my stomach. Oh my god! Should I tell someone? No, they'll just send me to a doctor. It, it's not my stomach, it's lower. My bladder? Oh. Maybe I just have to pee. 
I have been drinking an inordinate amount of water. Oh, it's only you. Papa said it was something important. Sit. Smoke? Uh, no, thank you. Lunch? I've eaten. Glass of water? No! Nice day today, no. But yesterday, it just rained and rained. The men did no work at all. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle at first. Just tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Then, whoosh! Our chicken coops much lower than the rest of the yard, and the water ran. No! Gush! Like a babbling brook. No! More uncontrollable than that! More like a raging river leading into an enormous lake Natalia where... Natalia Stepanovna! Yes? Natalia Stepanovna... I've come to... What on earth are you wearing? Is that a swallowtail coat? With white ruffles? You know, you look quite handsome when you dress up. You'll see, honored Natalia Stepanovna. The fact is that I have come to ask you... You'll think I look handsome? I have work to do. What do you want? May I use your... Use my what? Before I do, I need to ask you. I'll be brief. Honor Natalia Stepanovna. We have known each other since childhood, and our families have been quite close. And now, I have inherited the family estate. I believe that fate took a hand in matters when you consider the closeness of our property. I feel that my family is as close to yours as my Volovyi meadows are to your birch woodlands. It is with utmost respect and affection that I ask- Wait. Yes. When you say, my Velovi Meadows, do you mean your Velovi Meadows? Of course. <laughs> Where did you get an idea like that? The Velovi Meadows are ours. <laughs> are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I'm talking about the Velovi Meadows that run like a wedge between your birch trees and the charred swamp. Those are ours. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I have documents. I'll bet you do. Never mind. It's not important. I did not come here to fight. You can have the meadows. I, I give them to your family as a token of my affection, a gift. Oh, so now you're giving us gifts from on high, are you? Giving us our land as a token of your affection, is it? It's not important. And here I thought you'd make a good neighbor, not like your father, who borrowed our thresher and returned it two weeks later, broken. Watch what you say about my father. I can see you'll be just like him, worse. He wouldn't have tried to usurp our land. So. I'm a usurper now. The Velovyi Meadows are mine. They're ours, and I'll prove it. I'll send our mowers out there to cut the hay today. I'll kick them out. You wouldn't dare. The Velovyi Meadows are mine. Do you understand? Mine! How vulgar! 
Palpitations! <laughs> Palpitations! Don't talk away from me. I have more to say and more to prove. You can scream and cry all you want when you're at home and on your own lands, but I won't stand for this disgusting revolt. What is it? What are you shouting about? Papa, explain to this gentleman who the Velovi Meadows belong to, please. The Velovi Meadows? Uh, they're mine. I have documents to prove it. I'll, I'll go to court if need be. I knew you were looking for a chance to go to the law and so on. A pettifogging character. Your family was always fond of litigation. Every one of them. I beg you not to insult my family. The Lamovs have all been honest men and upright members of the community. The Lamovs are all Crazy! Crazy! Every one of you! Your grandfather was a dipsomaniac. Your aunt Nastasha ran away with an architect and so forth and so on. And your mother should have been my wife! Well, your grandmother was a hunchback! <gasps> Oh, oh, the palpitations! Oh, there's a pain in my, uh, side! There's a pain in my side! And there was no one like your aunt for gossiping! Your grandmother was a gambler! And a glutton! Blackguard! Scarecrow! And so on and so forth and on down the line! What a wretch! How is one supposed to believe in good neighbors after that? And that noodle-nosed ninny had the gall to come and ask me for your hand in marriage. He what? Uh, yes, he, he came here to propose to you, the backbiting ninny. Why didn't you tell me? Bring him back! Bring him back! Bring him back! Bring him back! Oh, oh, buttons, buttons, please, please. <laughs> Ivan Vasilievich Lomo. No. No. Palpitations. Uh, my, my leg is numb. Uh, there's a stitch in my side. Please don't hurt me. I, I'm a sick man. Forgive us, Ivan Vasilievich. We were much too hasty before. I remember now. The Velobi Meadows really are yours. I'll just leave you two young people alone. I'm sure there's many things for you to talk about and so on and so forth. There now. <laughs> Arguments. Silly, aren't they? Why, I've already forgotten what we were fighting about. It was the Belovie Meadows. They're mine. There's a twitching in, in both of my eyelids. Can you see that? The meadows are yes, my- Yes, yes. They're yours. We were wrong. So long as you know. Of course. They're yours. Let us talk about something else. It is almost hunting season, isn't it? Hunting? Hunting has been in season for a month now. Really? Mm. Have you done any hunting yourself? Well, no. No, I haven't. And Tracker's been lame. Your guide dog? He must have put his paw out of joint, or perhaps another dog bit him. <laughs> My very best hunting dog. Tracker. <laughs> Why do you laugh? <laughs> My father paid Murnov 120 rubles for Tracker. You got robbed. <laughs> we were lucky to get him for that. Tracker is an 
<laughs> exceptional dog. <sighs> Thracker. Father paid Mirnov 85 rubles for our dog, Backer. And Backer is a much better dog than Thracker. <laughs> Backer better than Thracker? <laughs> Five gold. It is true, Backer is still a pup, but when it comes to points of cleverness, Thracker can't compare to Backer. <laughs> Backer better than Thracker? <laughs> Backer has a pug jaw. Do you even know what a pug jaw is? There is no comparison between Tracker and Backer. You're a fool. Why are we shouting? Backer is better than Tracker. Oh, it drives me crazy. Why is it the men that know so little about hunting pretend that they are experts on the subject? My gun is better than your gun. As if they have any kind of understanding of what is a good hunting musket and what is a stick that makes noise. Oh, and it's always you, pretty type, that bring twice the supplies that you need because you don't know how to rub it out there. And then you have the nerve to complain that you have such a heavy load to carry. Tracker is a... Tracker is, backer is, backer, tracker, backer, tracker, backer, tracker, backer, tracker is, backer is a, backer, tracker, backer. Now what? Papa, what's wrong with him? Oh my God, he's dead! Ivan Vasilievich! Dead, dead! Call a doctor before it's too late! Oh, what have I done? What have you done? I mean, are you quite sure he's dead? Call a doctor! But he's dead! A doctor, a doctor! Maybe he just needs some water. drink water. He's dead. Holy saints of the Virgin Mary. He's dead. Why don't I just shoot myself in the head? Why don't I just slit my own throat? A knife. A gun. A gun. No, no, don't do it. And all the rest of it, it won't help. <laughs> Where am I? You better get married before one of you gets killed. She consents. She accepts your proposal and all that sort of thing. I give my blessing and so on and so forth and all the way down the line.